Hello, big team. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth. I've got a book haul for you, and it's actually a mystery book haul of mysteries. So my local library had a book sale last week, and I went to it. I actually went the night before and helped set up, and I did my shopping at that point and picked out some books that I wanted to buy. They do fill a bag for a dollar, and I ended up spending seven dollars on the night before the sale because I bought a whole box of books that was the equivalent of about three bags. And then I picked out more that I wanted to buy. And also I picked out two giant books to resell on eBay. And those took up a whole bag. So they were, you know, 50 cents each basically. So I want to show you all of that stuff. But first in this video, I'm going to show you what I picked up the second day because I went back at the end of the sale and I had already said to the ladies, if I don't get back by the time you are starting to close up, I want to buy all of the category romances that are left and all of the cozy mysteries that are left. So I kind of knew what was there. I had eyeballed it, but I had just kind of done a quick run through and I, I only picked out what I knew I wanted for myself and so I it didn't really register what else was there but I knew that there were some books there because they had recently weeded out mysteries from the library and so we had all the you know ex-library copies and things like that and so I got there earlier than I thought I would but they had already started to pull books out for me. So basically, I have two boxes of books that were curated for me. One is a box of paperbacks. One is a box of hardcovers. And I probably wouldn't have picked up all the hardcovers, but they picked them out for me, and I was not about to put them back after they went to the trouble to box me up a whole box of mysteries. So I really don't know what they boxed up for me. I'm going to show you both boxes. We're going to go out to my garage, and we're going to see what's in the boxes. And then in a separate video, I will come back and show you my book haul of the things that I picked out that I knew I was buying, a lot of which are mysteries, um, there's just a lot of random things, and there's some Christian fiction and stuff like that. So that's in a separate video. Let's go now to the boxes that they picked out for me. Some of it may not be mysteries. It might just be what they thought I would want. I don't know. We're going to go find out together. So join me in my garage, and I'll see you there. Okay, I think this is almost everything that I bought at the sale. I spent $7 the first night, and I bought that bag of Jeanette Oak books. They were in a box. That's what I referred to earlier when I said I bought a box of books for $3, and then I transferred them into that bag. And then I also bought a bag of books that I picked out for me, and I'm not sure if that bag is here or not. I may have carried it into the office, but Anyway, then I came back the next day, and here are the two boxes that they put together for me. The bigger box is hardcovers, and the smaller box is paperbacks. And then I saw that most of the romances were still left, and so I just quickly bagged those up. I didn't even look at them. I also went back through the mysteries, and I picked up a couple of others that didn't make it into the box. And so if you are interested in seeing uh, specifically the romances that I bought, I'm planning to just mainly lot those up for my eBay store. I may also put some in our little free library. So uh, if you want to see the romances, let me know. But I will do a separate haul of the books that I picked out for me to keep. And I'm going to just have to go through the bags and <laughs> find them. But anyway, let's go through these boxes. Let's start with the hardcovers and see what the ladies picked out for me. Okay, so I see we got A Murder She Wrote, A Fatal Feast. I picked out another one that's over there. What is it called? Murder on Parade. I'm not sure what numbers those are. I've read one Murder, She Wrote book, and I think I have some paperbacks in my eBay store. I don't know if I'll read these. I will probably just listen to 
some, if I can get them on audio, I'm pretty sure that some of them are on Hoopla, but I will probably just add these physical books to my eBay store. Carolyn Hart, What the Cat Saw. I think I've got one other Carolyn Hart book that I haven't read. I have heard of the Midnight Louie Mysteries by Carol Nelson Douglas. This one is Cat in a Crimson Haze. I uh, have not heard of this. Liar Liar by K.J. Larson. A Pants on Fire Detective Agency Mystery. Interesting. <laughs> Don't know anything about him. The Russian Hill Murders by Shirley Tallman. Don't know anything about that. It's a Sarah something. Woolson. Put my glasses on. It's a Sarah Wilson mystery. Looks historical. I have a copy of this. Smarty Bones, a Sarah Booth Delaney mystery by Carolyn Haynes. I think the copy I have is one that my sister gave me. A Jane Lawless mystery called Sweet Poison by Ellen Hart. This looks like it is Halloween themed. All right, I have Shadows at the Spring Show, an antique print mystery by Lee or Leah Waite. I've got another book by her from a different series, but I can't remember what it is. But uh, I don't think I've ever heard of this series. I almost picked this one up because my mother-in-law has some of these, but I think she already has this book. This is a guidepost series, Mysteries of Silver Peak. This one is called Time Will Tell. I don't know if Carol Jefferson is the author of all of them or, uh, or if it's a multi-author series. I can't remember. But anyway, I'll double check if she has this one or not, and uh, I'll probably add that to my eBay store. Looks like we have one by Diane Watt Davidson. This is, is this the uh, Goldie Bear series? It's actually called the Culinary Mysteries, but I'm pretty sure that this is Goldie Bear, called Killer Pancake. Ugh, this is the one that should not have been published. I think this is the last of the Cat Who Mysteries by Lillian Jackson Braun. I don't recommend this one unless you're a finisher like me and you have to read it, but it had a very un unappealing ending to the series. All right. I just want to go back and clarify what I meant about this book. This is the last book in the Cat Who series, which is a phenomenal series. But the last few books, I believe, were ghost written. It was either after Lillian Jackson Braun had passed away or she was not able to write anymore. And so several books were published and the series just really went downhill for the last few books. And this very last one made an attempt to wrap things up, but it was just not in a good direction, in my opinion. So that's why I said what I said about the cat who had 60 whiskers. Blood Relations by Rhett McPherson, a Tori O'Shea mystery. I've never heard of that. And another one by Diane Mott Davidson called Tough Cookie. I'm assuming that's from the same series as the previous one. Oh, and looky here. We've got uh, them all lined up where we can see the spine. That's awesome. Okay, here is... Murder Melts in Your Mouth by Nancy Martin, a Blackbird Sisters mystery. And then another of the Midnight Louie mysteries by Carol Nelson Douglas, Pussyfoot. And I never know how to say this. Is it Dahim, a bed and breakfast mystery, This Old Souse, <laughs> um, Mary Dahim, Dahim, y'all let me know how to say that. A all right, let me see if I can turn this around where we can see these better. All right, we have one by Susan Wittig Albert by, uh, called Cat's Claw. I think this is a China Bales mystery. Lawrence Shames, The Naked Detective. I <laughs> don't know anything about that. <laughs> She Smiled Sweetly by Mary Ann Tyrone Smith, a Poppy Rice mystery. There's an Agatha Raisin mystery by M.C. Beaton. There Goes the Bride. I'm going to take that out so I have a little more room in the box. She Shoots to Conquer, an 
Ellie Haskell mystery by Dorothy. Is it Cannell or Cannell? I don't know. Let me know if you know. No Just Desserts by Elizabeth Bastian. The Accidental Florist. A Jane Jeffrey mystery by Jill Churchill. I used to have some Jill Churchill mysteries, and I think I finally passed them on to someone else because I just thought I'm never going to get to them. But let me know if you think I ought to read one. Uh, Sins and Needles by Monica Ferris. I can't remember what number this is, but I own that whole series. And I will add that to my eBay store. Red Beans and Vice by Lou Jane Temple. A Heaven Lee mystery. Three Bedrooms, Two Baths, One Very Dead Corpse. An Amanda Thorne mystery by David James. Yankee Doodle Dead by Carolyn Hart. A Death on Demand mystery. This Pin for Hire by Laura Levine or Levine. I feel like Tiffany from the Beach Bum Bookworm just mentioned this the other day that she was either thought she was saying it wrong or somebody had corrected her. Anyway, it's a Jane Austen mystery. Killing Bridezilla, also by Laura Levine, a Jane Lost Austen mystery. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong. Another one by Jill Churchill. It's also a Jane Jeffrey mystery, A Midsummer Night's Scream. Another one by Carolyn Hart, The Christie Caper. Another one by Rhett McPherson, a Tori O'Shea mystery called Dead Man Running. And then A Secret Obsession by Kimberla Lawson Roby. This looks more like a romance, but I'm not sure. Love, Honor, and Betray. Hmm. And then here's a Sue Grafton, G is for Gumshoe, a Kinsey Malone mystery. So those are the hardcovers that were chosen for me. Of course, they know that I sell on eBay, and, uh, and that's, you know, was going to be my intent for them. But they also know I read Cozy Mysteries, so they were just pulling what they thought I would be interested in. So let me slide these out of the way, and I will show you what's in the box of paperbacks. Okay, let's see what I got in my box of paperbacks. I'm excited. Looks like there are a few trade paperbacks. I've not heard of this one. High Heels and Homicide by Casey Michaels. And I see one that's probably not a mystery, but that's okay. I still love that author. Uh, the Case of the Missing Books by Ian Sansom. That's a fun cover. All right, so Twisted Creek by Jody Thomas, I believe, is a romance. I do love Jody Thomas. I already own a copy of this book, and I haven't read it yet, but I will probably put this in our little free library. It's not in great shape as far as, you know, putting it in my eBay store, so I'll probably just share that in our little free library. All right, Hunting a Detroit Tiger, a Mickey Rawlings baseball mystery by Troy Seuss. Interesting. I didn't know there were baseball mysteries. And this looks like it's from the same series. The Cincinnati Red Stalkings. I will put those together in my eBay store. Alright. Two Cooks a Killing. An Angie Amalfi mystery by Joanne Pence. Oh, here's another by Jody Thomas. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. My sister just bought this. Um, she was collecting this series, and uh, she has it now. In fact, I bought a few more for her on my trip and sent them back to her. The Comforts of Home. This is one of the Harmony series. This is also a romance. But I think uh, the lady who... One of the ladies who was putting these together for me knew that I read Jody Thomas, and so she just thought I might enjoy those. And they might have been misfiled. They might have been accidentally put in mysteries instead of romance. Hearts of Fire by Miranda Lee. I don't know anything about that. Murder of a Wedding Bell by Denise Swanson. A Scumble River mystery. Oh, uh, she gave me a hardcover from this series 
uh, a few days before the sale. So I'll show that in my next haul. The Hand That Rocks the Ladle, a Pennsylvania Dutch Mystery with Recipes by Tamar Myers. Death on the Flop, the first poker mystery by Jackie Chance. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what else we've got here. Begging for Trouble by Judy McCoy. A dog walker mystery. From the series that shall not be named, <laughs> Peach Cobbler Murder by Joanne Fluke. Those of you from Killing Time with Cozy's group know what I'm talking about. Too Many Cooks Spoil the Broth by Tamar Myers. It is also a Pennsylvania Dutch mystery. And another one from that series, it looks like. Oh no, this is a different series, same author. This is from the Den of an Antiquity series, The Cane Mutiny. Here's a series that I'm currently reading. I can't remember if I read this one or not. Knit to be Tied by Maggie Sefton. If this is one of the later ones, I will keep it and read it before I pass it on. Chopping Spree by Diane Mott Davidson. I think that's a Goldie Bear mystery. Uh, another by Tamar Myers, Tiles and Tribulation. That's a Den of Iniquity mystery. And then I have this one, which is why I didn't pick it up, uh, because it wasn't in that great a shape. Hearse and Buggy, it's the first in the Amish Mystery Series by Laura Bradford. If any of you guys watching would like to have this, like for the next Amish in April, let me know, since that's the first in the series. Otherwise, if nobody comments about it, I will just probably put it in the little free library, because it's not in excellent condition. Or I don't know, I might put it in my eBay store. All right, a couple more from the series that shall not be named. Cherry Cheesecake Murder and Fudge Cupcake Murder. I'll probably put all three of those together. Oh, here's another one. I'll lock these up and put them in my eBay store. Lemon Meringue Pie Murder. And I just bought myself a copy of this. The Silver Needle Murder by Laura Childs. Because this is one of the ones that I had a hardcover of. And I'm trying to replace the hardcovers with paperbacks. And I just bought it somewhere. I don't think I spent a lot of money on it, but still, this would have been the cheaper option, had I only known. <laughs> All right, Marilyn Stout, if you're watching this, uh, do you have both of these? I've sent you a couple of these. I feel like that's one of the ones I sent you, but if you want So Deadly, let me know, and I will send that to you. Fatal Feng Shui by Leslie Kane, A Domestic Bliss Mystery. I Scream, You Scream by Wendy Lynn Watson. It says it includes ice cream recipes. It is a mystery a la mode. A Murderous Yarn by Monica Ferris. Again, that's a series that I already own. And Polished Off by Barbara Colley, a Charlotte LaRue mystery. And that is it. That is what I got in my mystery boxes of Cozy Mysteries. I did buy some other Cozy Mysteries that I will show you in another haul. Uh, one series I remember in particular, there were several from the Chocoholic series by Joanna Carl. I think that's the name of the series. They all have something to do with chocolate. And I have a few of those, and so I just picked up the rest of what they had. I know that I ended up with some duplicates, which I'll add to my eBay store. Anyway, um, my battery's running low on my phone, so I will close this off here, and I will plan on being back soon with more book hauls for you. Meanwhile, uh, let me know if you've read any of these series, if you enjoyed them, if you think I should definitely keep any, any of these. Probably the majority of these are going in my eBay store. But uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.